New at four, you may one day be able to travel to and from Winston-Salem by train. It is part of a proposal to create new passenger rail routes in North Carolina. WXI 12's Joshua Davis spoke to city leaders about what that could mean. Members of the NCDOT's rail division met with the Winston-Salem Mayor's Office and the Chamber of Commerce to explore the possibility of bringing passenger rail service to the city. Winston-Salem is, is the largest city in the state without direct passenger rail service. And so it behooves us and behooves the state DOT to make sure that that gets corrected. The North Carolina Department of Transportation submitted an application for federal grant funding to the Corridor Identification and Development Program, which helps with developing passenger train routes around the country. The NCDOT proposed 12 corridors in North Carolina, including connecting Winston-Salem to Raleigh and Charlotte. Winston-Salem Mayor Alan Joins met with the NCDOT's Rail Division and the city's Chamber of Commerce to discuss the project. He says it's one that has been years in the making. Been on our wavelength for, I don't know, 15 years or more. So we've had so many citizens say that they could use the rail, particularly if they can tie into Amtrak fairly easily uh, for going northward to Washington, New York, and then south to uh, Jacksonville, Florida. A DOT spokesperson says if the project is approved for funding, it would be a big step in integrating Winston-Salem into existing passenger rail systems in the state. Mayor Joyne says the city can and will demonstrate that there is a market for passenger rail in Winston-Salem. We're ready for it, and uh, we're now continuing to starting to push harder than we were in terms of getting that connectivity. The NCDOT says it hopes to hear back about the grant applications later on this summer. And if the funding does come through, Mayor Allen Joyne says it could take up to five years before the project is completed. In Winston-Salem, I'm Joshua Davis for WXII 12 News.